Hello again, I'm Eli the Computer Guy and this is episode 321, Mapping Network Drives in Windows. So mapping network drives is a very common task that you need to do in technology and in computers and strangely enough, a lot of people don't know how to do it. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to map a network drive both in the GUI way, the graphical user interface way uh, in Windows, and also by using the net use command from the command prompt. Basically, this is an old DOS command. It's been around since Windows 95, probably it's been around since DOS, um, but it's very simple, it's very easy. So what is the idea of mapping a network drive? Essentially, what we are doing is we are making a shared folder on a remote computer the equivalent of a local hard drive on our computer. So you will hear about shared drives when you go into the enterprise. So you'll hear that the S drive is mapped to the shared drive on the server, or the U drive is mapped to the users folder on the server, or the Q drive is mapped to the QuickBooks drive on the server. The main reason that mapped drives are important in the modern world is because many people pieces of software, especially older types of software, in order to connect to a data folder, they need to connect to a hard drive. They cannot connect simply to a shared folder over the network. So they have to be connected to, you know, S colon QuickBooks. They cannot be connected to uh, computer number two. QuickBooks, if that makes any sense. So basically the reason you have to use map drives in the real world is usually for these different pieces of software, things like QuickBooks, things like ACT, things like that, where if you're connecting to a shared data directory, uh, that actually has to be mapped to a drive letter. It cannot just simply be mapped to a, to a shared folder over the network. So what this will look like is this. So basically here, we are looking uh, at, on my Windows 7 computer, and I have mapped the S drive to my computer named test, the C drive of my computer named test, which is a Windows 8 computer. So you can see we have the C drive here, we have the DVD drive, we have the E drive, and then I map S as the C drive on the test computer. And I can navigate through here and take a look and copy and paste and do whatever I want. The important thing to remember about this S uh, drive though is that it is the shared drive on a different computer so that is not local so in order to map to a shared drive essentially there are two different ways of doing this the first way is through the graphical user way so what I'll do is I'll transition here and the graphical user way is pretty simple this has been around forever forever uh, you could have done this way back in Windows 2000 so what I'll show you now It'll work in Windows 2000, work in Windows XP, work in Vista, will work in Windows 7. Um, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not sure if it'll work in, uh, in Windows 8 yet. But if you're dealing with the other, um, the other operating systems, it will. So what you do is you hit the Start button, or little Windows button. You go up to the Computer or My Computer icon, or, uh, or, or uh, uh, you know, whatever icon here. And then what you do is you right-click on this. When you right click, you're going to see you get an option for map a network drive, map network drive. So all you have to do is click on the map network drive and then you will get a, a box like this. And all you do here is you say what drive letter you wanna make this shared drive. So let's say we wanna make this the X drive and then, we, then it says what folder. So what I'm going to do is I'll do backslash backslash and then the computer name I'm connecting to is test backslash and then the shared folder on the computer so the shared folder that I did is I shared the C drive so I shared C and then underneath you have the options you want to reconnect at login so do you want to share this connect this drive map this drive just now and then when you log out and log back in, you'll lose it, or do you want to keep it always? 
And down here, an important one to see is connect using different credentials. So since you're going to be connecting to a, a remote computer, that remote computer may have a different username and a different password on it, especially if you have any kind of security. So if that computer has a different username and different password, you would need to plug that in there. And so basically you would just plug it in and when you hit finish, it would ask you for the credentials. And then all you do is you hit finish. And now it is connected the X drive. So if we go over and I transition back to the screen I was showing you before, we have the S drive like we had before, and then we have the X drive. So that's all you do in order to map a drive using the GUI interface. So you right click on computer or my computer, you do map network drive, you tell it what drive letter you want it to be, you tell it the network path, and you're done. You might have to put in uh, some different credentials, but that's basically all of you have to do. Now, the other way that you can map a network drive is by using the net use command. The reason you would use the net use DOS command is generally in batch files. So if you have startup batch files that run when the computer starts up or when somebody logs in, you can automatically connect them to network shares if you know the DOS command to do that. And all you have to do is it's called the net use command. So in order to use the net use command, again, we're gonna transition over and I have the command prompt open. Now for this, it is very, 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 very simple. All you do is you type in net use. So it's net space use. Then you say what drive you wanna use. So uh, I would just say, let's say T colon. So I wanna use T colon space, and then backslash, backslash, again, the network path to get to the shared folder. So the server's name is test, the computer's name is test, and the shared folder is C. So there, net, space, use, space, whatever drive letter you want to use, colon, space, backslash, backslash, the computer you're connecting to, backslash, the shared folder you're connecting to, and then you just hit enter. The command was completed successfully. Now, again, if we go over to the, 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 the Explore folder uh, that I had open before, we now see that T is connected to test the C folder. We can go in and we can see everything that is there. So that is all there is to mapping network drives. Again, I showed you the, the graphical user interface, the way to do it, and then the net use command. I'm going to be doing an episode on how to create batch files. So that is where the net use command generally comes in, is if you're creating batch files for when people log into their systems or when computers start up, you can have it automatically connect to all these share folders and then everything is good. Generally, again, the reason why we use this in the real world is pieces of software such as QuickBooks, such as Act, especially some of the older versions. You cannot simply connect using uh, the, the network path, so backslash, backslash, test, backslash, C. You can't do that. You actually have to give it a drive letter. Why it is? Who knows? <laughs> it's, just, it's just how it goes, uh, but, but, but it is very important. So that's all there is uh, to mapping a network drive with the GUI and with the net use command. I'm Eli the Computer Guy. This was episode 321, Mapping Network Drives in Windows. And that's all there is to it. This does also work. It doesn't have to be to a Windows system. If that had been a Linux system with Samba installed, I could have done the same thing. If it had been Unix with Windows file sharing, I could have done the same thing. If it had been simply a little uh, NAS device, network attached storage, I could map the same way. If a Windows computer can connect to the device, and copy and paste and share files normally, then you can use uh, this 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 uh, net use or this 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 uh, this net uh, mapping a drive uh, command. So yeah, that's it. I enjoyed uh, teaching this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one.